Hey guys, I'm Alex Pierce, and today I'm going to be talking about using Sketchfab as an asset management library. Now, we have a, an enterprise account with Sketchfab, which means we can do a, a lot of things with Sketchfab. We use it for training, we embed 3D models on websites, we use it for all sorts of things. But, uh, but specifically, I want to talk about asset management. I recently tried a bunch of other tools. I've tried one called Bridge that's free. I, try, I, I looked into TurboSquid's Kraken 3D. I've looked into a few like Blender Kit and a few other uh, libraries, but they all had their limitations in my opinion. And the, the, the greatest thing, I don't know if the greatest thing, one of the best things about uh, Sketchfab is that it's easy to share with other people. So I work mostly in Blender. My main 3D artist works mostly in Maya. We have another one of our guys who works mostly in Lightwave. We have other people who work across the world on all kinds of different packages and software, and it's it's a lot easier to share a, a Sketchfab link uh, or a Sketchfab model, and than it is a lot of these other these other ways. So let's just uh, go ahead and jump in. So you'll you'll need to use you'll need to have a pro account to, to really access all the the, the good features, um, but you can watching this video is free, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you download the the zip file. And you install it like a normal plugin. I'm going to go ahead and go. Th I normally don't go through the process, but I'm going to just show you real quick. Preferences, go to Add-ons, go to Install, and then you navigate to wherever that plugin is. You leave it zipped up, and then I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it. But you push Install, and then here you can click on it to select it. Now you don't even. I don't even think you need an account to just look through the through the uh, models. But uh, you're going to want to. The first thing you're going to want to do is log in. At the top, I've already logged in, obviously, so it's already there. Uh, and then you have a few different options. Uh, you have about, which just tells you, it, you know, where is it up to date or not. You have export, which is which is cool. You can export straight to Sketchfab, so you can click on. Uh, um, you can export the entire scene, or if you just want to export this chair, you can do selection only. You can put a title, description, tags. You can set it as private or draft, um, and that's all. That's all really helpful as well. Uh, but the the main part of this is to talk about the import feature, and this is where it's really really helpful. Now, even if you don't, again, even if you don't have an account, even if you don't have your own models, you can search all of Sketchfab. Anything that's free will show up here. So if uh, if I want to bring in a chair from anywhere, I can just look up chair, and I can also say this is I want it to be staff pick, uh, I want it to be PBR, I want it to be uh, up to ten thousand uh, faces, so it's like more low poly, and then you just click on this icon, and then you get uh, you know the first page of models and then go to the next page and then click on the icon and you'll get another set of models um, so you can see how this could, this is going to be awesome already so you can say import model I don't know anything about this model I'm importing uh, uh, I'll just I should say that up front but uh, alright so here it is let's scale it down let's see probably scale dot zero one yeah um, um, alright so so we got this chair in, and uh, and I've I've put up this uh, I've I've put the the um, uh, the shader node here or, or window here, so we can see that one of the cool things about uh, Sketchfab is that it brings in uh, it, it automatically set this up for us, and you can see that uh, I think this is actually in, true for most um, uh, Blender or excuse me Sketchfab models, but but either way, this particular model has. Uh, the the metallic and roughness packed into the green and red uh, excuse me green and blue channels and but it's already set up for us we don't have to mess with this at all uh, and it came in just as we would have expected it to uh, so so that's that's really that's obviously very very cool um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that but this is where it's important for me so I can upload things to to Sketchfab and then I can choose my models I can say okay I want to see my models that are up to ten thousand uh, face count and I could continue to, to, to refine this. I could say chairs that are up to 10,000. I could see all the models that I have that are uh, that have chairs in the tag or the title and uh, that are up to 10,000. Um, and but I can see my entire library here. So uh, it's it's really 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 helpful to be able to just go. Okay, uh, you know what? I want to see this desk. Uh, okay, click a button. It automatically downloads the model. And puts it in my scene. Um, let's see if I find it here. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna scale this up a little bit. I'll just move it over to the side. Uh, no, uh, what happened here? Let's see, just move it over here. Um, and then, and like I said, so it, it, if we look at the uh, the the shader node, uh, or the sh excuse me, the shader 
uh, window here we can see the uh, how it's all set up how everything is is set up we got base color roughness metalness and a normal map um, and and yeah I mean again like before this would take me forever to find the model online download it bring it here or if it was on drop we a long time ago we used Dropbox we just had all our models in Dropbox we had no idea what they looked like you know we'd be like well I don't know if this was a what kind of desk was oh it was that desk oh no this is the desk I wanted uh, now I can just I can quickly see what they look like um, and then I can just easily bring them in and it's uh, it's really a time saver and uh, and a lifesaver on so many levels um, but uh, uh, let's see here yeah so if I want to look at these two just look at them here and put them side by side and you can see why why this would be <laughs> why this has been uh, amazing for us uh, for our team to be able to just have the entire library at our fingertips and the other cool thing is that it's not just for blender they have uh, a unity plugin that works really really well same thing it sets up the the shader and, and unity exactly as you would hope to set it up and you know it's I'm pretty fast at setting things up in Blender, but in Unity, not so much. So it's it's really great to be able to just bring it in and uh, not have to worry about. Wait, is this roughness? Wait, is this glossy? I forget. Is it? There's like a specular workflow. You don't have to worry about any of that. It just does it for you. Uh, and uh, and the other thing is, you can it automatically downloads or excuse me, if you have Sketchfab, uh, it'll if you if you upload, for instance, an FBX file, you'll have access to that FBX file, but you can also download uh, a GLTF file, which is really great. The TF stands for Transmission Format. So GLTF is a great format to go from one program to the next. Uh, so anyway, that's really all I, I, I wanted to show you. I just I, It's something that I've, we've been using for about a year now. Actually, it has been a year now. And, uh, and the, the more models we put on there, the more valuable it becomes for us. Uh, I think at the beginning it was helpful and it was useful, but now that we have a lot of models on there, uh, I think we have like a few hundred. Um, it's now it's like I don't know how we had how we lived life before. So, anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful. Hopefully, it was useful for you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm in contact with the Sketchfab guys all the time, guys and gals, uh, all the time. They're very responsive. They're very cool. And uh, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, take care.